three, two, one. All right, so here we go. Okay, according to Genesis, the Lord created everything in six days, and then on the seventh day, he rested. That means he stopped. Doesn't mean he took a nap. That means he took a rest from the work he did the previous six days. So he blessed that day and set it apart way back when everything was still perfect, right? Right. One day out of seven. Later, I don't know, about 2,500 years or so, way after Adam and Eve ate the forbidden fruit and sin was everywhere, Moses comes along. He hikes up Mount Sinai and receives the Ten Commandments from the Lord himself, written by his very finger. You saw the movie. For all those readers out there, take a peek at Exodus 20. Here begins the law. God's commandments, his design, not ours, for our benefits, not his. Now, out of all the Ten Commandments, we stop today on the fourth. Remember the Sabbath and to keep it holy. And in case we might not connect it on our own, God uses the same language he used in the first book of the Bible that he does in the second to connect it for us. And I paraphrase, in six days, not five, not a million years, not an eon, in six days, God did a bunch of work making everything we see and don't see, and then he rested on the seventh day. Therefore, he blessed it and made it holy. He set it apart. One day out of seven. So we got 10 commandments. We got eight don'ts and two do's, but inside one of the do's is a don't, this fourth commandment. The do is to remember the Sabbath by keeping it holy. The way to keep it holy is the don't. Psh, don't work. Or more accurate to its intent, put aside the normal work you do on the previous six days and make this day different. One day out of seven. Okay, so let's leap forward about 1500 years or so to Mark chapter 2. You'll see that Jesus said, quite frankly, man wasn't made for the Sabbath, but Sabbath was made for the man. Sabbath was made for the man. Huh. God blessed this day and set it apart. Why? For what? Well, perhaps a date. Maybe God is saying he just wants to spend time with us. Yeah, he created us to do all kinds of things and to have friends and family and live our lives. But maybe he's saying he'd like to spend time with us, too. Yeah, he knows we're busy. That's why he gave us seven days. Six days to do all the things we have to do. And then one day to spend with him. One day out of seven. <laughs> 